Welcome Geminis and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message on your twin flame journeys for week commencing Monday the 28th of November through to Sunday the 4th of December 2022. On the left hand side will be your crowning message cards and on the right hand side your crowning wisdom message cards. So let's jump straight in and have a look and see what your overarching crowning messages are for the week ahead. My angels and thank you. Wow, interference, my angels and spirit guides of the divine, thank you. Protected, my angels and spirit guides of the divine, thank you. Oh, wow. Got a few bonus cards for you. We have denial, new love and trust. Okay. Okay, so Gemini's... Um, what I am picking up um, for you guys is that there is somebody around you that I feel, I feel that um, is, might actually be a little bit obsessed with you actually. Um, Either you've broken up with somebody and there may have been some interference around that breakup. An external party is intruding on this relationship. So it feels as if something happened to a connection and I feel that there has been a bit of a breakup or a separation I have got a feeling that this person might be a deep soulmate, not necessarily a twin flame. Um, but it feels as if many of you, um, it feels as if many of you, this, this happened um, for a reason to make room for your actual twin flame coming in. Um, whatever this interference is, it happens for you, not against you. And I feel that this person is still very, very much in love with you. I feel that they're keeping that secret. Okay. Um, they are disappointed of the breakup and I feel that they do want another chance, um, another go around, a second chance with you. They want to almost kind of like paint a different picture, all right? Um, I feel that for many of you, you're being guided that you are safe and protected um, and being divinely guided. So really listen to your intuition, listen to your heart space, because that is what is going to guide you or give you a fresh perspective on the journey ahead of you. Because I feel whoever it is that is very, very much in love with you, it feels as if a separation or a breakup from this person happened for you and this external party it, intruding on the relationship it this either it, do you know it might even be your twin flame that is wanting to come in so you may have already kind of encountered this person your twin flame but it feels as though that um it feels as though that it it led you to either separate just bear with me just two seconds hold on okay sorry about that gemini's so it feels as if either you've encountered your actual twin flame and either whatever that might have been the interference in a current relationship or a relationship that you have just broken away from okay but know that you are safe and being divinely guided now i feel that whoever you have just broken away from or what i am picking up somebody that loves you very very much is 
almost secretly yearning for you, longing for you. Um, I feel that this person is checking you out online um, to see what, what you're up to. I, I feel that they do want a second chance. You're being guided with denial to detach with love, to clearly see the truth. And I feel that the truth is that there is a new love. It says a new love or recommitment to love is developing. I am picking up. This is a completely brand new love that Divine Spirit Universe has or wants to bring in. And so I feel the in interference with somebody that wants to recommit to love with you is actually your twin flame that you've um that you've encountered and so therefore the denial is divine spirit universe is asking you to detach from this past love okay who you may have actually loved as well okay um you're being guided to detach from that so that you can see your true love coming in who is your twin flame? Many of you, you've got curiosity, intellect and networking on your main card. So either somebody you've encountered, you are very, very curious about and it feels as if your intuition is guiding you through intellect, okay, to network with this person or you may have met this person through a network um a, a work function a family function a i don't know a group of friends but this person has piqued your curiosity unbeknown to you and i don't feel that you this has been something purposely that you've done but that person's energy i feel was the interference with another connection who is still very very obsessed with you okay checking you out online wants another chance um keeping secret how much they really still do love you and wanting to like paint a different picture between the two of you but i feel that you're being guided to detach from that to see the truth that a new love your twin flame is coming forward and then with trust it is safe to trust in this situation so gemini's the bottom line is You've either detached from somebody, okay? Um, it could have been because your curiosity was piqued by somebody that you've encountered who that interfered with a current connection. And so therefore, uh, I feel that the other person, the current connection or, or past connection, if you've already broken up, is really, really disappointed, really, really sad. And I feel that they want another shot. You're being guided to dis detach yourself from that love to see the truth of your twin flame coming in so whoever has piqued your interest whoever you are curious about uh, i feel that that is your true twin flame and it is a situation that you can trust wow it really took me a bit of a while to connect with that message because when i was channeling for you i was like mm, this doesn't make a lot of sense like are there three people and then your cards came out um, and evidently they are. I feel that a past connection, uh, your true twin flame that wants to come forward um, and obviously yourself. All right. All right. Thank you. Your crowning wisdom messages. Gosh, you guys are getting cards left, right and center. So we've got 64 here. <clears throat> Try to see things from your twin flames perspective to get a better understanding. I feel that either your true twin flame, okay, the one that Divine Spirit Universe is trying to uh, make room to enter into your life, they could be a little bit hesitant to come forward because they may have picked up that you are still attached to a previous person. So if this person that you're curious about um, and you possibly suspect that they are your twin flame, you're being guided to see their perspective that if they don't come forward this week or they're not coming forward, 
it's because they know that you're still attached to somebody else. Okay. And that will give you a better understanding with an idea or decisions that you've got to make as you detach from a previous love. 711 triggers brought on by your counterpart are necessary for the healing of past wounds and traumas. Yeah. So I feel the um, brown heart is the earth chakra and it feels as if what is happening to you right now between two individuals, one that I believe is a completely new love, the other wants a recommitment to love. The person that is the new love that you have, you've encountered, but you're not together with, but you're curious about, has triggered, okay, um, necessary healing of past wounds and traumas with the person that wants to recommit to you, all right? So it feels as if, in a nutshell, it's like you're being guided to close the door properly on a on the person that wants to recommit to you so that you can move forward with your twin flame without any emotional baggage all right and that may take some healing that may take some time then we've got 444 the universe fully supports you as you continue on your path towards enlightenment the enlightenment is to see the truth that the person that you are with that wants to recommit to you some of you may have broken up with this person or started to pull back your energy or some of you are thinking about breaking up with somebody uh, the universe is supporting you to see the truth of somebody that has piqued your interest, piqued your curiosity, is actually uh, your true twin flame. And then your bonus card, 1010. The silver uh, heart is representing your psyche and I was picking that up. Geminis, you are strongly being guided to follow your intuition to follow your heart space because that is where divine spirit universe your higher self is going to communicate with you with information ideas concepts of of what you need to do and how you need to do it to move forward on the journey of enlightenment to let go somebody that wants to recommit to you to allow the the new love, your twin flame to come to come forward and you're being guided. There is a divine plan in order. Let go of your need to know future events. Absolutely. You're being guided to just trust the situation. The person that wants to recommit to you is not your twin flame. Don't get me wrong. I am picking up. They love you. They absolutely love you, but they are almost obsessed with you. Which is something that I feel is not healthy. And you may have love for this person, but you're being guided to detach yourself from that, to see the truth. That this person is either possessive, they could be demonstrating patterns that could cause more pain and wounds later on down the line, it almost feels as if you're being guided to just let go. If you're getting those red flags, let go of it now. Let go of it now. Um, because I feel that Divine Spirit Universe is saying there is an order. You've got to close out the person that wants to recommit to you, the person that is obsessed with you, so that your true twin flame can come forward. But many of you may be hesitant because you kind of want to know right now. Yeah, the person that you know, the person that loves you, the person that is secretly obsessed with you, watching you on social media, checking up on you, spying on you. You may not be aware of all of that, but you may be really, really wanting to know, do you let that person go or do you take a leap of faith almost to allow somebody that has piqued your curiosity 
Who I'm picking up is actually your true twin flame. All right. Okay, Gemini's, if this message is resonating for you already, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. It really does help to push this video out to other Gemini's. It also enables you to get those notifications of when I'm uploading new messages. And of course, it does help to support the channel. So I thank you in advance for your support and encouragement. Existing subscribers, welcome back. Thank you for all of your support, encouragement and donations. It's really appreciated. And I really do hope that you all get something useful and meaningful out of this week's reading. Let's get into your main love message. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the twin flames of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love on their twin flame journeys week commencing Monday the 28th of November through to Sunday the 4th of December 2022. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Gemini's that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for, great, and for the greater good of all? As above, so below, and all around me, thank you. Gemini's, I'm being told to point out to the butterflies, there's a transformation, there's a transformation going on um, in your life with regards to love. And I feel with the two butterflies, you are soon to come into uh, a proper union of getting to know your true twin flame if you let go of the past. All right, Mike, thank you. Wow, yeah. So whoever you are connecting with, okay, um, now there's two ways I could read it. The person that wants to recommit to you, um, that is obsessed over you, um, may actually be grieving the loss of you. They know that you're checking out. I feel that this person psychically knows that you are checking out. The other way that I can read it is that your actual twin flame that is not coming forward is they know that you are going to be going through a grieving process, a healing process as you disconnect from uh, somebody that I feel that you're being guided to close the door on. So... For many of you, I feel that um, either the person that is recommitting to you wants to recommit, um, they may be very materialistic or they may be dependent on you on money, okay? The second way I'm reading it for the actual twin flame, the new love that's coming in, Either you've met this person through earning money or an exchange of money. So it could be a work situation. It could be networking to increase your money. Like, I don't know, you know, sometimes we have those seminars or webinars of how to increase money. And you may have encountered your twin flame at one of those sessions or groups or something this mute card i feel that for many of you it feels like this is your energy um you may be just keeping silent at the moment because you just don't know how to deal with this situation it could also represent that the um person that wants to recommit to you is mute they may appear invisible but their energy is still around you and that is what I was picking up. This person is kind of like spying on you. Yeah, uh, for many of you, um, I feel that the new person that's coming in, there's something about you that they admire OK, um, there may be something that you admire about this person and notice the butterflies again coming in here. There's a transformation. I feel that by breaking free from the person that wants to recommit to you, the person that is obsessive over you, actually um, you're being guided to break free out of that, to let your light shine. To let your light shine, because I feel that whoever the new connection is, which I feel genuinely is your twin flame, 
um, they see your light. They they see your light. They they admire you, and I feel that they are admiring you from a distance. But I feel that, again, this energy could be theirs as well. They are mute, silent. So it feels as if all three of you are mute and silent, but you're all in each other's energies, okay? Thank you. Yeah, look at that. I can't even make it up. Can't even make it up. Gemini's. Whether you are male or female, okay, uh, your twin flame, the new love, okay, their divine masculine energy is vibrating out to you. Many of you, you've encountered this person and you're curious. You are curious and trust me, this person is admiring you from a distance, that's why you're being guided to let go of the past. The person that wants to recommit to you. The vibration between you and this person is undeniable. Thank you. Okay, so we've got um, the Hermit card. I feel that, again, two ways I can read this because it feels as if this energy is coming in on both the person that wants to recommit to you and your twin flame. First of all, I feel that your uh, person that wants to recommit to you uh, knows that you are either... Sorry. Your twin flame knows that you have to make wise choices over disconnecting from the person that wants to recommit to you. It feels as if they are picking up the vibration that you will be grieving that disconnect. And you have to make wise choices. You have to deal with this in a very delicate way. Um, it is fated for you to do this in this way. So again, Hermit, you're being guided to seek Ask for help from your spirit team. Listen to your intuition. Listen to your psychic. Uh, I feel that many of you, it's fated for you to disconnect from somebody that wants to recommit to you to make room for your actual twin flame to come forward. With regard to the person who is um, wanting to recommit to you, I feel that they are grieving because they know or picking up that you are making um a choice to pull away from them, go in a different direction. And I feel that it is fated, it's fated that this is happening in this way. It's like they know that you are really thinking about walking away from the connection with them. And all three of you that are in this connection um, are just silent. Yeah, look at this. I feel as if um, the person that wants to recommit, they know that you're about to break up with them. If there is money attached, um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you're married to this person um, and there might be a settlement or there may have to be um a dividing of financial assets they're worried about that they're worried about money they're worried about finances but they are feeling very disconnected from you okay um because i feel that they know that you are on the verge with the hermit card to literally break up with them which means that there's going to be an upheaval to do with money all right. If you were the person that was very, um, I would say that you had a higher status of wealth, financial wealth, you may have given to this person quite a lot, you know, spent a lot of money on them or whatever. Uh, that is, that is going to be, that's not going to be happening. 
So it's like the person that wants to recommit to you, they are very, very much in the material world. Whereas your twin flame, I feel that you perhaps met them in the material world, either to do with increasing your finances, something to do with finances, and they are more likely to give to you rather than take from you. You also could be dealing with a Virgo or you could have Virgo in your chart. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you clarify how does the twin flames of Gemini thank you? Yeah, I told you. I feel that, okay, I feel that the person that wants to recommit to you, the Seven of Swords, they're keeping secret. They're keeping secret that they know that you are on the verge of breaking up with them. They're keeping secret that they're going to miss the financial benefit that you brought to this connection. I feel that the Twin Flame, uh, I feel that they're keeping secret, okay, that they want to give. <clears throat> They want to give to this connection. Um, they may also be keeping secret that they are picking up that because you've got to detach from somebody that you're already involved with or just about to break up with, um, that there may be financial implications. I feel um, both individuals... Uh, it's a battle commu to communicate at the moment. Now, notice all the swords that's coming out here. Uh, both your twin flame and the person that wants to recommit to you are definitely mute because this is silent treatment. So you kind of don't know which way to move with this. And I feel that you're being guided to uh, follow your heart. Yeah, follow your psyche. Let divine spirit universe guide you. I feel that whoever, um, it feels as if it's a battlefield with, well, you don't really know your twin flame, but I feel emotions or communication with the person that wants to recommit to you is a battlefield. So it almost feels as if this person won't take no for an answer. You're being guided with the strength card that you have got the strength and the courage to detach with love, to clearly see the truth that there's there's a challenge here with the person that wants to recommit to you. There is an attachment. It almost feels as if this person is dependent on you for their happiness. Definitely in the material world. So this person may be very, very materialistic. And they're dependent on you for that lifestyle. You've got the strength and the courage to detach and you've also got the strength and the courage to open the door and trust the situation of your true divine counterpart coming forward. You also could be dealing with a Leo or you could have Leo in your chart. Let's continue. Thank you and thank you. Well, yeah, with the uh, Queen of Coins in reverse, this is definitely your energy, um, Geminis. You are definitely ready for long-term commitment, marriage. But right now, with regards to your new love that I'm picking up is your true twin flame, you are suppressing that because you haven't really, you've encountered them, but you don't know them as yet. But you are ready for it, you're ready for it, but you are perhaps hiding that, mute, not saying anything, but you you may have been even married to this person in past lives. Many of you, you're manifesting. You're manifesting that you can transform your love life, that you can finally shine and be with somebody, that you can be grounded balance that will give equally to this connection possibly also financially you don't need to constantly put it be putting your hand in your pocket 
to, I suppose, uh, give the lifestyle of the person that wants to recommit to you. But many of you, you are suppressing this curiosity that actually you've met the person that you could marry, settle down with. Thank you. Yeah, I feel with the page of uh, wands, you, the divine masculine energy um, of your counterpart is definitely going to be coming in this week. I feel little small, um, maybe little flirty messages. Um, but this is some sort of communication that's coming in swift. Some of you it may even be unexpected. But just remember, try to see things from their perspective. I feel that this person is picking up your vibration. You are picking up their vibration. But they are, I feel that they are fully aware that you are in a bit of an entanglement um, that you need to deal with. All right. But I feel that they are still going to be a bit jovial, um, flirtatious, very lighthearted. But I feel that you will hear from them. Just don't get too worried if like they're not giving anything away. Um, because I feel that they know that you've got uh, a situation over here to deal with. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you clarify? Thank you. Yeah, and the uh, Knight of Wands. So I feel that your divine counterpart, who holds the divine, predominant divine masculine energy, uh, they definitely want to take action towards you. Yeah, notice we have got two wands. They are, they're, they're, they're at a crossroads. They are at a crossroads. I feel that they're going to come in with some lighthearted energy. But the Knight of Wands is somebody that's really indecisive. Do they, don't they? Do they, don't they? Because they know that you have got to deal with a situation before they can fully come forward. Okay. Um, they can't deny the vibration um, that they feel with you. Okay. Um the light they see it's like you're drawing this person in it's like they can't help but come towards you but yet at the same time they're really indecisive because they know that you are perhaps in a situation already that you're not quite out of wow gemini's you really made me work for this reading um this was um a very this is a very complex uh, connection all right so okay so i feel that the person that wants to recommit to you they are coming in is it possible to forgive and forget so this person may have really taken you for granted with regards to money thank you oh wow okay lying was just easier for me than telling you the truth that's the secret well, we saw that with the Seven of Swords. Oh, wow. <laughs> I've looked you up online to see what you've been up to. This feels as if it's a continuation of the person that wants to recommit to you. And the fact that this, the Twin Flame messages are spreading over to your energy is letting me know that this person even though they may be quiet, they are uh, very, very much in your energy space. And that's what you've got to detach. And then I need more time to figure things out. I feel that this is your energy. Okay. And I feel that that's your energy speaking to the divine masculine, your divine counterpart, the new love that wants to come in. But these three cards, I feel that it's the person that wants to recommit to you. It genuinely does feel that you have um, potentially, what's the what's the phrase that they say? You potentially could be um, getting out of a situation with the person that wants to recommit to you by the skin of your teeth, basically. Whether you've been in a relationship with this person for a while, you've you your 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 missings, your you're missing or you are being 
are, I suppose, positioned of enlightenment and listening to your heart space of um, a near miss. Like, it feels as if the person that wants to recommit to you, if you choose to focus on that recommitment, it may throw up some real, real challenges going forward. Whereas if you detach and you follow your heart space, know that you're protected, know that it is safe to be curious about this new love, um, many of you are going to be a lot more happy your light will really shine because you will be with your divine counterpart. It's a near miss, basically, with the person that wants to recommit to you. And I feel that um, that's something you're being guided to, 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 to follow your heart space. There is a divine plan in order. Um, and 1010 is completion. Something is completing in order for something new to come in. All right. I'm going to leave that there for you, Geminis. If it resonates, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, I'm sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. You take care. Bye bye.